Alright everybody, uh, this time I'm going to be looking at a game called Love, and Love is one of my favorite games for the Vita. It's this crazy little, like, super low-res, uh, pixel art platformer, but it's really, really fun, and I'm going to try real hard to, like, run through the whole game, but we'll see what happens. Alright, so, the way in which this game works is you can set your respawn point at any place, so, like that, you just come back to wherever you place it. And so, for a certain... You have to sort of balance whether you want to rush forward or set your spawn point and save yourself some time. Also, has really cool music, so I don't know if you want to turn this video up and just not listen to me talk or uh, just kind of chill out. But I'll do it. But this, uh, it was this game was one of the game the few games where I really felt the the flaws in the Wii controller design because it's so precise. And um, it makes it just a little bit frustrating when you get that tiny bit of input lag when you're too far away from the console. Uh, the Bluetooth introduces a little bit of intro lag, and oh my gosh, is it frustrating. I've had runs of this game get killed by frustration just because I haven't been able to handle it. Uh, and so each one of the levels in this game has a little bit of a different feel. Uh, different color scheme, different hazards, and some of them have different music. Frick, I was real close. Nope. And so you have a hundred lives. Make it through this game. Hopefully I will mind. I will if I can't push the button. Right that was entirely my fault. Right. Nope. That's not how you do that. There we go. Now, this level on my TV at home could never see that first pit and I just thought that it was like a blind hazard until I realized I had the game sized wrong and it was actually cutting off the very bottom and it was very very frustrating for a short period of time. That is not interesting commentary by any means but I got stuck there for a really long time trying to figure out what was going on and I always thought this oh, I always thought this level looked like brains and I don't really know what possessed me to think that but that and these little Mega Man spikes everywhere. I saw a speedrunner of this game that just beat it in like minutes. It was it was really cool to watch. And despite looking um, looking so simple, this game actually has pretty darn responsive controls. Um, I'm not the best to show them off, but it isn't uh, it isn't like you assume an Atari 2600 game. Uh, is when you can't control yourself in the air, you actually have a ton of control over your character, except when you fall in the pit because you're bad at the video game that you're playing. That does happen as well. There we go. Now, this is my favorite level. For whatever reason, in the middle of this game, there's just a super chill level. And I mean, it does have a little bit of... Um, oops. A little bit of... <laughs> there. A little bit of difficulty to it. But compared to the one that you just did, it's really not that bad. Um, except when you're bad at the game, like I repeat that I am. And I went through this huge phase in my life, in like my um, 16 years old, hanging out on VampireFreaks.com and listening to trip hop. So this beat just gets me. Like I, oh, it's so good. I'm just gonna commit suicide, which I did not condone. This, this is the only time this is in the game, this little weird um, slow fall thing, the snowstorm, I call it. It's really cool, but I guess it's going to have to break too much about this. This game is kind of interesting because it has a, an adaptive difficulty setting. So like, those little spikes that are there on those little nubbies, those are actually only there because I'm playing on normal difficulty. If I played on an easier difficulty, or a harder difficulty, there would be more obstacles. So the game changes, rather than, you know, increasing enemy damage, because there are no enemies, it actually just alters the environment to make things harder. And since you can save anywhere, it's still not that difficult, but it does substantially slow you down. I'm so great at this game. <laughs> This is one of the parts where I really get stuck. Just have 
real trouble with this. Oh, there we go. Okay, we'll just take it one step at a time. What we want. That's fine too. Now I'm going to switch to the D-pad here to get some sight. Okay, we have to go while it's not there yet. Hey guys, I'm Ben, and I don't know how to play video games. There we go. Now this is where things start to get weird. You're, you get used to this contamination leak, and so any of these drippy bits will kill you if you touch them. Like that. So, as you can see, it sort of corrodes through the level. Touch that pipe. Oh, okay, here we go. Here we go. That is one of my least favorite parts. There we go. Always have trouble falling onto the right part of the this torn up piece. There we go. And that was directly into the sludge. There we go. Okay. Not too tough. He spoke way too soon. Alright, this one is very frustrating. It's just timing, but. If you're just a second too late or too early, you run into some more trouble. Like that. Oops. Oops. Do this in rhythm. That was too soon. So this is another one of those difficulty blocks. This is not here if you're playing on harder difficulty. So there is no stopping until you get all the way through. Which is terrible. I have such a terrible time with because you have to time them while they're still there. There. Oh, fuck. Excuse my language. Sorry, Brian. <laughs> I'm trying real hard not to curse so much anymore. I, it's just an unsightly habit, and there's no reason. This part looks really hard, but it's in fact just really, really fun. Because each one of these little blobs is a trampoline, so you can get some really big air and just move between these. But again, there's no place to stand still, so there's no place to place your portal, so you gotta do this all in one shot. This part is crazy, and this is when things start to get pretty tough. And I am not the best one to show you this. Uh, okay, all right, we're doing pretty good. I should have faith in myself, or I should just not go when it's a bad time to go. Like now is a bad time. Bad time. All right, all right, all right. I can handle that. Okay, here we go. This is not. I actually um, saw a speedrun of this game where they, uh, ma he just mashed through those. There was no reason to slow down. And this, you can pretty much just hold right in most of it. Except for that one that I messed up and I landed on. Beautiful. Now this is one of the few times that I've seen this game malfunction. Oops. It's right here. That's because you can get your head stuck in those rocks. I I haven't seen it happen very often, but sometimes I got stuck up there and I couldn't get out and then I fell to my death repeatedly. Well, repeatedly because I'm very poor at this game. And there we go. Alright. There we go. <sighs> I spoke too soon. Alright, look. Right, now I just gotta time this right. 
See, I got stuck in the roof. It's very frustrating. And I need to stop walking off of this because when you walk down a ramp, you sometimes count as falling and you just can't jump anymore. See, I almost got my head stuck and I almost fell in the rocks. Okay, here we go. Jump, 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 jump. Just keep going. No! Oh! costing me about half my lives. Here we go. Okay, gotta wait till this one's at its highest point. There we go. All right, so this level, I just got myself killed. There's no way, you have to wait for the machine to seed a little bit before you can actually survive this part have to sort of bounce over the first obstacle there. And then sort of follow these colors here. That was not what you're supposed to do. Alright, bounce, bounce, bounce. Alright, so now I have to go back to the ones that are on the third row down. This part always gives makes me a little nervous. There we go. We're out. As long as I don't mess it up. There. Nice. And this this game gets really weird around this point. Um, because it sort of gets organic, but it doesn't really explain anything. It's just sort of like these pieces of creature, and you sort of learn that the the white stuff is actually coming from this creature. Uh, I don't really know if there's any additional story to this game, but it is kind of creepy. Open that up, and then this. Actually, no, wait, I'm wrong. Oops, no, I'm pretty sure you go back after this. Yeah, this part down here opens up. That was just sad. Caught the last little drip. This level creeped me out a little bit the first time I played it. I got a little pinky, a little worried Well, then, you know what you should do? Use the game mechanic that allows you to save so that you don't have to read them as much. There we go. I'm gonna run out of lives before I think get to the end of this, I'm pretty sure. So, this video unceremoniously ends, that's me running out of lives. Here we go. This level's gimmick. Bouncy little deadly laser beams. I guess they're laser beams. I don't know. They could, like, they remind me of the Medusa heads from the original Castlevania. They just exist to make my life horrible. Alright, 
two lives left, guys. Try to make the best of this. That's not the best of this, Ben. What are you doing? I'm doing the exact opposite of what you said you would do. You know what? It really doesn't matter where I put my portal down. I'm pretty much out of the guys. So I'm just going to stop doing that. Ooh. Okay, we're going good. Yep. Grade F. So, that is love. I've ran over a little bit, but I just wanted to play out the rest of my lives. Um... If you like it, check it out. This one I'm pretty sure is on Steam, and if not, it's uh, available online to buy uh, for Windows. Um, give it a check. It's really, really fun, and there's a lot more to it. Um, there are modes that remix the levels, and there's a speedrun mode that allows you to maintain a timer throughout the whole game, and there's some pretty insane speedruns. So if that's something that you're into, check it out uh, rather than this video. <laughs>